Hi, I'm Jeff Shuford and welcome back to The Buzz on Veterans. Today we have a very special guest that's here to tell us how we can align our personalities with our professional images to be better executives. Jay, thanks for joining us back again on yes, The Buzz. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be back. Now, you're just so cool. I had no idea. We were talking <laughs> offset about you being a vet, right? Yes. And uh, tell me about your experience and how the, the, the skill sets that you learned in the military helped you with your business now, helping people really define their true selves. Um, that's a great question, actually. Um, I stumbled upon being uh, going into the military because um, I'm from Jacksonville. I grew up in a difficult environment, and just looking around, um, I didn't have much to aspire to. Mm -hmm. And so one day in high school, um, I saw somebody in a uniform, and I was like, hey, what do you do? He said, I'm a recruiter for the Army. I said, okay, sign me up. And from there, I went on to the military, and it just opened my mind um, and my ex and expanded my experiences. You know, to see that there are other things, you know, in life that there are other experiences, other people to meet um, in life, and definitely um, honed some of those skills that was already in me. You know, the discipline, the structure, the importance of um, having vision. You know, uh, teamwork, just all those mm -hmm. different things that uh, once you get out of the military are still very relevant in everyday life. Yeah, and we were talking about the reinvention of yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're in the military for whether three, 10, 20 mm -hmm. years, you learn the skill and then you get out and you have to represent your skill set to the right. marketplace. Tell us how you continually help executives and veterans uh, identify their true selves and bring it to the marketplace? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, especially when you're long, young, a lot of people go into the military when they're young. And so um, when you go in the military, it's, you know, you're doing, you know, what you're asked to do or whatever that skill set is, and you probably don't have enough information about who you are. So I help, you know, people in general just discover who they are, um, their personality type. Um, I like to call myself the authenticator and advocate, <laughs> uh, activator of personalities. So we discover who you are, um, your interests, your different likes, um, your abilities and stuff like that. And then we help you to um, convert that, you know, to the outside. Um, there are opportunities, there are um, connections and all different types of things that are connected to who you present, you know, um, to the world. And so those people need to be able to identify you. Those people who are, you know, supposed to connect with you, those opportunities that are supposed to open up for you, mm -hmm. they, they're they directly connected to who you show up what, what And what tip do you have for, for, for military veterans and for executives, that one tip that are struggling with identifying themselves, maybe imposter syndrome, I, I discovered that mm -hmm. once I started mm -hmm. elevating the publications mm -hmm. I was contributing mm -hmm. to for mm -hmm. a while until I really sunk into it. What advice do you have for that veteran or executive that could be struggling with something similar? Well, one, it, you have to be able to identify, you know, that there is something going on. You have to be able to um, be committed to it because it takes time. A lot of people, we don't know who we are um, because we take less time to really sit with ourselves and ask ourselves some questions or um, contact somebody like myself that can coach you and help you walk through those different things to kind of peel back, you know, some of those experiences, peel back some of those um, situations and circumstances, you know, that you may have experienced that has caused you, you know, layered some things um, that's caused you to kind of be distant, you know, from who you are. So it takes time, acknowledgement and time um, to really sit in it and deal with, you know, some of those things. Yeah, we're going to talk offline because I think that what you do would be perfect for women veterans. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're a author now, congratulations. Yes, thank you. Um, how can people pick up your book and get a hold of you so they can get some phenomenal knowledge and guidance that you just facilitated to us mm -hmm. here on the show? And you know, and my book deals with that. It's dealing with those defining moments in life, you know, that we experience, that we let define who we are instead of seeing them for what they are, which are, you know, just opportunities to learn. But, um, you can reach me at www.m4masterpiece.com. Uh, uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and um, you'll find all the information for my book. I actually have a book signing uh, coming up on June 16th. You'll find that, it's called Book Launch, 
book launch and lunch. So if you look for that, you can find that as well on Facebook and reach out to me that way. Perfect, and we'll definitely par partner you somehow with Wally Conway, Navy vet, um, international best-selling author, and uh, you know I love seeing all uh, seeing veterans, uh, you know, publishing work more, and, and it's just phenomenal what you're doing, and uh, yeah, just continue your your, your great success, Thank and we you. look forward to have you on the show again. Thank you, I appreciate it. For another segment, I'm Jeff Schuford, your host. Make sure you go pick up Jay's book, and we look forward to seeing you in the next segment.